So he has RDS, you intubated the baby because he's not breathing. So what will you tell the nurse or to prepare the ventilator? Uh, the ventilator setting? Yes, the nurse wants to set it. Dr. Hisham said that uh, the rate we will put on 40, 40 rate. No, the, uh, <laughs> Dr. Hisham will, will tell the nurse himself. You tell us what you want. Yeah, uh, I, will, I will put uh, the rate on 40. Okay. And uh, uh, if I am true, I fix the cell. Okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah just give us the rate. Just give us the settings. We'll put them for now, then we can play with them. Yes, the rate 40, and then how okay. much rate do you want? Rate 40. 40. 40. Uh, FIO2 60. So okay, well, 60, FIO2 is not working. Assume it's 60. It's 60. Yes. Okay, in terms of expiration, uh, 75. Okay, high time. Good. Flu mm 6. -hmm. Uh, okay. LP. We'll talk about that because this has no f mm -hmm. has no enough for flu. Flu, LP, I4. D4, You're ready to go. Now you, he missed one thing. What did he miss? One important thing. He gave us PIP, PEEP, rate, eye time, oxygen, oxygen, flow. This one will tell you how it works with the flow, but one important thing he missed that Dr. Hisham uh, talked about. Map. No, map is something you don't set in conventional. You'll end up uh, high, having High map. and low uh, settings? No. It's just one settings. Rate. He mentioned rate. He mentioned yeah, yeah, rate. rate. 40. Okay, which mode of ventilation mode. do you want? Yeah. Okay. Assist control, assist control, low SIPPD. Okay, so assist control, SIPPD. So is this reasonable settings? For everybody or unreasonable settings? I think the BRD is... Is, uh, is what? Is low. Low. Okay. So how do you decide a good PIP? By chest expansion. Chest expansion mm -hmm. is one thing. Air what air else? Air. Good yeah, air saturation. entry. Uh, saturation PEEP or PIP, what did you say? Uh, no, not PEEP, yeah. Okay. Good so air. one more, one more thing. Good air entry. Air entry, chest movement. Okay. Also here, all the new ventilators will give us tidal body. Yes. So mm -hmm. you want to look and see how much mm -hmm. of value you're getting. Not too high, not mm -hmm. too little. Mm -hmm. Just this way, can uh, guide the PIP? Just this way. Mm -hmm. You're just starting before the x-ray. This okay. is your initial settings. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this ventilator, each ventilator has different modes. Okay. This one has a mode called SIMV plus pressure support. Yes. So it can allow you for two types of breath. Okay. Here's this baby. This is a regular vent breath. Okay, mm. this is pressure, mm. this is flow, this is volume. So pressure, we're giving the 40 that you, the 14 over 4. 14 over 4. Okay, and so with, with here, with this one, it tells you how much above the PEEP. So I put it 10 over 4. So it will be total 14 mm. over 4. Mm. Okay, I time 0.35. We'll talk about this one, we'll talk about this one, and we'll talk about this one, and we'll talk about this one. So you can see so many new buttons. Mm. And all these you have to choose depending on what is the issue. So this is becoming a very popular mode now, the SIMV plus pressure support. And what it does is it will allow you two different types of breath. Okay, to, we'll just make life a little simpler by decreasing the rate a little bit so you can see it better. Okay, so now this is vent breath. The vent is doing all the work. And now the baby starts breathing. Okay, the pink one is a triggered breath. So I'm generating the negative movement of the diaphragm the baby would normally get. Okay, so you have Okay, uh, here is 
want to stop the screen. You want to uh, stop the screen. Freeze it or what? Yeah, freeze the screen. Ah. Okay, where is it now? I don't think so. No, there is one. There is one. I know there is one. Or maybe in that trends. No. no. button to stop the screen. Okay. Do you see that these two are the same or are they different? This wave looks like this wave or they look different? Different. Different. Because the patient looks this. Okay. So what else is different about them? Feeble at all. Okay. So do you go to the same point or do you go to different points? Different points. Higher one. This one looks higher than this one? Yes. Or yes. same? So higher, is it a same wide or is it different? Different width. Different widths. Okay. So this is the difference between a pressure support brat, which is flow terminated. It terminates it when most of the air goes into the lung. And you, here you can choose at what setting. So the, this will go by the eye time. This will go by flow termination. So they look different. Also here I can choose pressure control above the P for the vent breath, for these breath, the 20 SIMV. Here I can choose the PIP above the beep for the baby's own breath. So the idea is if the baby is taking a breath by himself, he'll take small breath because he's young, he's weak, mm -hmm. he's trust, he has poor compliance. So I want the vent to support whatever the baby is taking mm -hmm. more than my set rate. This mm -hmm. yes, SIPPV? SIPPV, if I put this the same as the PIP, I put the pressure support as 10, okay. then I'm very close. The second part is a inspiratory cycle of when do I want to terminate the breath? Here at 30% of the, the um, mm. air going in. Here we'll see that my, my uh, triggered breath will be a little bit wider than before because I'm, ter I'm letting more air go in. Mm. So it still looks different because this is flow terminated. Mm. Here, yeah, we really need to stop the screen. Okay. Here you, you see the, there's no gap between inspiration and expiration. This is inspiration, this mm. is expiration. Mm. Here, inspiration goes to expiration. Inspiration goes to expiration, while here, Inspiration, there is pause, mm. and then expiration. Mm. So the vent, the vent breath, mm. yes, is going to go by eye time. Mm. So if all the air goes in and your eye time is not finished, it will hold the air inside. It will not let it go out. While flow terminated breath, it will let the air go out once I reach to that all the air went in. Okay? So here, this from the inspiratory cycle off, I can terminate also the breath early or late. When the baby breathes, do you want the vent to respond quickly or to respond to every movement or to respond to only when the baby has a good effort? So for a little baby, I may want to respond easily. So it doesn't have to work hard to get the vent to respond. For a big kid who's moving, maybe I want to respond not to every little tiny movement. So here it's the higher the number, 
the easier for the vent to respond. Meaning the opposite of trigger. Meaning sensitivity of the sensitivity. sensitivity. Trigger sensitivity. Yeah. Okay. This is the trigger sensitivity for the machine. Mm. So what's so, so what's better to, to for tiny babies, uh, preemies? Uh, to make it, it low sensitivity. Low, low sensitivity. So, so, I'm sorry, to make it high sensitivity so it's easier yeah. for the vent to meet the baby's demands. And, and the machine asked me about the sensitivity better for flow or pressure. Okay. Yes. All, all preemies are flow. Flow, yeah. Yeah, because for the baby to make a change in pressure, it takes more it's effort. Hard, yeah, okay. So most, most of the... These two ventilators, the SLA, they all work by flow. By flow, okay. So that's why it's really good to understand this way, because this is the flow wave. Now, here you can... Okay, so it's, you see the uh, pink? Mm -hmm. The machine actually thinks the baby's triggering. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I'm putting the sensitivity very high. If I decrease the sensitivity, you will not see this pink line. Mm -hmm. It will not trigger because mm -hmm. it doesn't see. It became much less sensitive to yeah. the patient's movement. So if it's a big kid and he wants to move around, mm -hmm. then now it, it's not seeing. I have to do really good effort mm -hmm. for the to see. Like this is a vent trigger. This is a triggered breath. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can see that it makes a difference in how easily it is to respond. And this will make a difference in the rate. Because yeah. if it's very sensitive, the rate can go up very high. If the baby's moving, if there's water in the tube going in and out, it will, the vent will think it's a breath. You make it by, uh, by minus. And, uh, I'll trigger. Uh, Your trigger starts with one, and then go by point threes. Uh, we don't have a trigger. We have you have what? Trips. Okay, what do you have? Uh, I think when uh, there is a sensitivity, there is a sensitivity in the device, there is a two pressure and flow. Okay. So we have the device, Okay, 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 okay. If it's doing neonate, and children, and adults. And the device, the maximum of the device is 5. Okay. لا 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 أنت لازم تختار pressure أو flow pressure لو old baby bigger baby flow is smaller. This machine will work also in bigger kids and in bigger kids you use pressure for triggering because pressure is is better for big people who can actually generate a reasonable pressure that the machine can see. So this is probably one if I wanted to make it. Here, I'm making it close to assist control. Because if the baby takes a breath by the machine, it will be 14 over 4. If the baby takes a breath by himself, it will also be 14 over 4, mm. but it will terminate earlier. Mm. So they're not exactly the but same. We don't put uh, the same. <coughs> Usually, you put a little bit less. less yes. If you want, if you're weaning the baby. Yeah. So, this, because this one has different uh, modes from the trigger. Mm. Okay? So, but this is the idea is you understand that SIMV plus pressure support, we can actually, okay, there's, it has volume control, pressure control, which is more like, um, Volume guarantee. Hmm? Volume guarantee. No, it doesn't have volume guarantee. Volume control it has. This is more like a cyst control. If you want a cyst control, now these are triggered breath and they all look the same has volume also, which is nice, but this, the volume guarantee is not a volume breath. It's a yeah. pressure breath that's adjusted up volume. and down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A volume control, you have to give the, you know, the breath control, and this is whatever you put into it. There is something called PRVC, which is kind of the hybrid modes. Mm -hmm. This pressure regulated volume control. So it sees how much volume you want, and if you're not getting it, it will alarm. Mm -hmm. So in case baby's lung function deteriorates and with your pressure you're not getting that volume, it will allow. Kind of, but the opposite, it will not wean it. 
it will not win the vent. But it, it reads the volume and it looks at the pressure and the volume and it sees that you're getting this volume for this pressure. In volume guarantee, it will give the, the volume. It will not alarm. Whatever the volume you set it, it will give. But in this one, it will alarm. You have to increase the pressure to get this volume. So it's good that it lets you know that something is going wrong with the baby, yes. there's a problem. So it's good to use that also. Okay. In Dr. Uh, Nava. Nava, Nava, okay. Dr. Junaid will tell us. Yeah. Yeah. Will tell us something about okay. Nava. So this is this is a very basic mo mode. The, the idea of this, this is one of the modes where you don't need a ventilation. I mean where you don't need a sedation or anything. It depends all that the uh, how much is your diaphragm contracting, and it gives the signals to the ventilator, and that much breath you you will get it. But for that mode, you have to have a catheter. It's a specialized catheter, okay? And you put it in the baby, and this the end of that catheter is the electrode which pick up the diaphragmatic activity, and the diaphragmatic activity will uh, you know control everything. So for the example, if the baby is breathing well, the diaphragm is contracting well, okay, the machine is not working, you know, uh, for the baby. Baby is all already doing that, but it is give all the control to the baby. It will not push the breath into the baby. It will not give the extra pressure, not like you and me breathing right now. You are getting any pressure, whatever is suitable for you, you are getting, okay. The same with this mode. So you just have to, in this, setting, you just have to set NAVA level. Mm -hmm. Now what is NAVA level? NAVA level is the load of work, you know, either by the ventilator or by the baby. So for example, baby is sick. Hmm? Baby can, you don't want uh, the baby to do too much effort. Then you increase the NAVA level, okay? So let's say 2, 2.5. Hmm? Increasing some steps. Yeah. So now it means that most of the work will do by the machine. Okay. Now, if it, if if the baby is doing well, you can decrease. And I will tell you how how it will. The problem is that I don't have the catheter, but I will uh, show you in the picture in a more. Then the peep, whatever you normally set up like four and the oxygen. Okay. And the other prep setting is the same. Now, with this mode. The main thing is this EDI catheter, okay, which is you put it because it will show you that how the diaphragm is moving and how much is the pressure. So if the EDI catheter, if the EDI catheter is giving less reading, so it means the baby is functioning well, the diaphragm is contracting well, and the breath is all supported. So you can be in the ventilator and then at one point you can extubate the baby. This uh, can be affected by his abdominal movement? No, because that catheter is very specialized. You know, this is a little bit, you know, expense uh, in that. Because this catheter is very specialized, it only pick up the diaphragmatic muscle contraction. Mm -hmm. And it has, uh, you have to check the position of that catheter because heart is also pumping right there. So it can uh, catch the ECG, but once you put it in, and there is a setup in this, okay, if you want I can show you there on the screen that uh, there is a uh, setup that where shows the screen and you can see that the position of catheter is good or not. When the position is good, you leave the baby and then you just put your NAVA level, okay, and then see how the baby is breathing, how the baby is moving. This maybe is a future than uh, high frequency? No, high frequency is totally different. It is just the uh, same thing what we are doing but giving more control to the baby and give more physiology uh, to the ventilation because we want baby to breathe like us, okay? So lungs are damaged, uh, we know, we, lungs are, have problem. But if you give too much pressure,